Every JIRA administrator needs to ensure their application supports growth and change in their organization. But what if you're a new admin and aren't sure where to start? Hi, I'm Rachel Wright, Certified JIRA Administrator and author of the JIRA Strategy Admin Workbook, and I'm here to share the top five things every new admin needs to know. There are certain things you'll do regularly, like adding users, creating projects, editing workflows, and troubleshooting common permission and notification problems. User management is a recurring activity. You need to add users when they join the organization, give them application access, and add them to the correct roles and groups. When users leave, you need to make them inactive, reassign their open issues, and remove their personal objects. Here's a tip. Never delete former users. Make them inactive instead. This way, you retain their change history, and they don't count toward your user limit. Next, users frequently ask for new JIRA projects. There's generally one project per department, system, team, or application. You need to decide when new projects are warranted and create a standard for your organization. Next, workflow requests are common. But before you make workflow changes, it's important to understand the impact of states, statuses, transitions, and behaviors. Before activating workflows, always verify your changes in a test environment or apply the workflow to a test project. Finally, users often report permission or notification problems. Sometimes users can't access projects, issues, or reports. Other times, they don't receive the emails they are expecting. The easiest way to troubleshoot these problems is to use the permission helper and the notification helper. You'll find both on the system administration page. So how do you master these important JIRA areas? You should read all the JIRA documentation and you should experiment in a test environment. You can also take my basic JIRA administration course on LinkedIn. My course and thousands of others are included with your premium subscription. My basic admin course covers admin responsibilities, types of administrators, how to set up a test environment, and the top five things every new admin needs to know. That's it for this tip. Good luck with your JIRA journey, and I'll see you online.